Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos todos this blessed Monday morning. Going to share a reading a out of the book of Psalms just to start our week, loves. Um, and it's Psalms 147. Uh, it, it's, it, I love to share loves in the Psalms bring peace. Um, uh, Comfort is probably the word I should uh, use because that's who our God is. He's called our comforter through his son, Jesus. This Everything that was written down was for the accomplishment of his son, Jesus. Uh, so he's our comforter. And through the word, that's where we find our comfort, loves. Um, as always, all glory to you, Abba, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus. Give me the strength. Give me the words to speak to your beloved children, Father. And I give you all glory, all glory in the name of your Son, Jesus. I will read, loves. And it is Psalms 147. Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant, and praise is beautiful. In everything we praise Him. You're amazing, Abba Father. Thank you for all that you do for us. You're a great comforter. You are a great counselor. You are a great healer. You are a great, you, you show us great love. We praise him in everything. You're, you're a great peacemaker in our lives. We praise him in everything, loves. The Lord built up Jerusalem. He gathers together the outcast of Israel. Jerusalem and Israel are people. It's not much the country. This is where we're, what we need to understand, loves. It's not the, the, the little country. It's the people. So the Lord builds up Jerusalem. He builds us up. And he gathers together the outcast of Israel. We are Israel. All the outcasts, he brings them together. Verse 3 is powerful. He heals he heals loves the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. That's that's a kept promise, loves. Abba Father is that great healer for the brokenhearted. And he binds up our wounds. He counts the numbers of the stars. He calls them all by name. Great is our Lord, mighty in power. His understanding is infinite. His understanding is beyond what we can reach, is why we stay connected to His Son, so we can be in that infinite understanding of the spoken written word of our God loves. He casts the wicked down to the ground. This is a kept promise. He will cast them down. All the wicked people that come up against his children, his beloved children, he will cast them. That is, the Lord lifts up the humble. He lifts us up. If we're humble in our hearts, loves, we're not arrogant. We're not proud. We're not wicked. We, the Lord says, the Lord lifts up the humble and he casts the wicked down to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praises. On the harp to our God. We sing praises to him. Again, in everything that, that he has blessed us with. Even if we're going through a trial and tribulation. He's bringing us out of it. We thank him. Because the battle is his. The bat He deals with it. We just need to continue in that walk, loves. Who covers the heavens with clouds. Who prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass to grow on the mountains. He gives to the beast its food. 
and to the young ravens they cry. He does not delight in the strength of horses. He takes no pleasure in the legs of a man. Meaning, he does not delight in the strength of horses or pleasure in the legs of men. In men that go out and try to fight, try to conquer someone with a humble heart. Any of God's children, just, just to do it. The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him and those who hope in his mercy. And we hope in his mercy. He is a merciful God. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. We praise him, loves, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He has strengthened the bars in our gates. That's our protection. He is. He all protection, all that strength is placed. Here it's the bars of the gates. He's the strength of it. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates and has blessed your children within. He blesses our children. If we have that humble heart, we trust in our God, loves. He makes peace in our borders and fills you with the finest wheat. He provides for us, loves, because he is that great provider. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs very swift, swiftly. The minute that word comes out of his mouth, the earth obeys. The angels obey. How more so should we, as his obedient, humble children, we should obey the minute we hear his spoken written word and how we should live and what we should do. And that's praise our God. Love him through his son. That's the spoken written word, loves he gives snow like wool. He scatters the frost like ashes. He casts out his hail like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He causes his wind to blow and the waters flow. He causes the snow. He causes hail. But he sends out his word and melts them. When we see these thunderstorms, when we see these hailstorms, when we see these snowstorms or these blizzards, Abba Father says, it's okay, I, I send them. I send them, but with one word, with one word, he sends out his word and melts them. He causes his wind to blow and the waves flow. It's like in Genesis, Abba Father walked through the cool of the day with Adam and Eve. How more so when we're walking and we hear the rustling of the winds. Who do you think that is? That's the presence of our God. Listen carefully next time when you're walking. Hear the rustling. You, you don't hear him in front of you, but you hear them right beside you. And you know that the wind is everywhere, but yet you hear them more to one side. That's Abba Father walking with us. Praise, praise our God, for he is a good God. Verse 19, he declares his word to Jacob, his statutes, his judgments to Israel, to us. He declares the word to Jacob. He kept his promises to Abraham and this, and Jacob. So he's saying, I declared. We, we declare, he, he declares his own word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel, to us, loves. We need to humble and, and seek his statutes and judgments through his son. He has not dealt thus with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. 
Verse 20, he has not dealt those with any nation. What has he not dealt with? He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He has not dealt those with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Heed the spoken written word. He has his chosen people, the humble hearted, the peacemakers, the compassionate, the meek. You, you will see the presence of God in people's lives with the attributes what the spoken written word speaks of our God. So he's saying he declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel, to his people. He has not dealt those with any nation. He's telling us, I, I didn't, I didn't keep this with everybody because not everyone, not everyone declares God as God. Not everyone declares Abba Father in the name of his son Jesus as the true almighty God. So he ends it here. He has not dealt us those with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. These people that have not accepted Lord Jesus in their lives do not know these statutes and judgments. But that is why we share the word. Let the Holy Spirit reach their hearts and their soul to believe in the true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because that's what it was written for. It was left for us to share the word, loves. We praise our God. We praise Him with all that we have. And he gathers us, loves. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up our wounds. Heed the spoken written word. Allow the words of the most important book in our lives to come to life in our lives, loves. It is why it is here. He's a gracious God. We praise him even when, when we see that our enemies are, are piling up. We see our enemies being edified by this world. Give glory to our Abba Father God. We praise him. We give him thanks that he protects us from them. Because we know the glory. We know the praises that when we praise him, he'll keep his word and he will edify his church, the body of his son. He would not let his son down. We need to stay under that grace, loves, in the protection of our God. Again, I wanted to share uh, praise to our God for his word and providence. This is what this Psalms is for. Praise to God for his word. Praise him. He is good. He's righteous. He's a just God. He sees our work. He sees our love for his son. Again, all glory to Abba Father in the name of his son Jesus. Loves. Everyone have a beautiful, blessed day. Share the word, loves. Study it. Have a humble heart. Seek the Lord, for he is there for whom wishes to find him. Blessings, everyone. Everyone have a beautiful, blessed day.